Greetings and a very, 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 very warm welcome to everybody here this evening. It's always an honor and um, great. I'm always grateful as well to to have people here on our immune Saturday evening presentation. Um, tonight, Daisy's taken a rain check. She's got something on, and so you've got me. <laughs> And we're going to, she sent us a really, really, really nice video as well on Taoism, which I think is quite appropriate for now regarding, um, well, certain, you know, certain people are getting triggered and there's certain, um, shall I just say, people are playing out their stresses. So it's quite, it's quite a nice balancing video that we're going to look at. And then I'm going to play you my 10 minute video from the sustainability conference last weekend and um, discuss with you, um, you know, ways going forward so that we can, um, well, just be positioned properly in the future. And I will also say that the, um, the jury's out now. The, the whole aid story is now absolutely confirmed. And, well, it's got um, the, the same story as the COVID, basically. So the one video that I posted, I think it was two weeks ago. Those of you who saw it, great, because um, it's actually been taken down. So I've had two, two of my videos taken down from YouTube. So I'm not going to really be talking about this anymore. Um, I think everybody knows. We know. We know. We know the story. Um, I just want to see if I can actually post what was sent me from, to me today. Mm. On our, on our, um, I just want to see if I can post the, the story that I wanted to tell you about. Um, oh, here it is. Yeah, actually, let me just see if I can get anything from it. Yeah, here we go. Right, so I've copied that. So I'm just going to paste something here. All right, and I've called it the aid story. So those of you who, why isn't it sending over oh, there? Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to see why it's not sending. Money. Try once more. Saying invalid URL. Okay. Well, listen. While the while the video is showing, I'm going to try and get the the story. Um, out. Um, I'm trying to give you the link so that you can get hold of um what I'm speaking about. And then, yeah, so we're going to do the Taoism video for those who've just joined us. Welcome, welcome. And we're going to then do sustainability and our positioning going forward in the new dispensation. Okay, so let's start off then with the video. It's about 30 minutes long. And the video has disappeared. Chorus of all my um, spring insects. Oh, the video is here. All the spring insects you've been listening to. Okay, so here we have the video on Taoism. Please enjoy it. And. Hi, I'm Dizzy. And I'm Sterling. And we put together this lesson about the inner truth of the Tao. You edited this, didn't you, Sterling? Uh, yeah, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And did you learn a lot about the steps of the Tao? Yes, a lot of stuff. Based on the work from the TV show Kung Fu, Lessons in Inner Truth. I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. We begin our journey with respect for nature. If we seek to shorten the legs of a crane, 
we hurt the crane. If we seek to lengthen the legs of a duck, we hurt the duck. We must learn to respect nature and not try to outdo her. As quickly as you can, snatch the pebble from my hand. When you can take the pebble from my hand, it will be time for you to leave. We must learn discipline. Learning to discipline the mind, discipline the body, discipline the spirit. As we learn to be in the world, not controlled by the world, we learn to respect the path of others, but to respect our path first. The art of teaching is clarity, and the art of learning is to listen. No matter how young, the seeker who sets out upon the way of the Tao shines bright over the world. The clouded mind sees nothing. We must learn to respect nature and respect our own nature. Why is the Tao so valuable? Because it is everywhere, and everyone can use it. This is why those who seek will find, and those who reform will be forgiven why the good will be rewarded. Accept everything just the way it is. If you see a wrong, change what you can. Do not seek pleasure for its own sake. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. Be detached from desire your whole life long. Do not regret what you have done. Reduce jealousy. Never let yourself be too saddened by a separation. Do not let yourself be guided by the feeling of lust or love. In all things have few preferences. To live right, one must never sell weapons, never sell or hold slaves, never sell drugs, never try to play God by making synthetic anything. Knowing others is intelligence. Knowing yourself is true wisdom. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. If you realize that you have enough, you are already rich. As you learn to control the mind, body and spirit, you become powerful. What is the value of truth, Master? It binds one to the reality of oneself. This is hard for me to understand. So is truth. Hard to understand. Except that which cannot be spoken. But should I not always speak the truth? No matter what the consequences? Recognize that all words are part false and part true. Limited by our imperfect understanding. But strive always for honesty within yourself. Words are just symbols of our inner mental world, describing the outer world. Words are but tools built to share ideas between two minds. Words are ambiguous. They can be deceptive. We have to learn to transcend above the words. And the inner truth is not of words. the desires of the mind and the spirit, then the body is in tune with nature. The act is pure, and there is no shame. And what is love? Love is harmony, even in discord.
Love exists in times of trouble as well as in times of peace. Love is a kind of a universal flowing thing. And love and respect are nutrients as essential as any vitamin, as essential as any food. Respect, a nutrient. We need these nutrients. Intellectual nutrients, energy nutrients, as important as any vitamin, fiber, etc. Love the collective God consciousness of the universe. Deeply love yourself, then love others as yourself. Reject the sin, but love the sinner. What the eye sees disappears with a blink or a wandering puff of breath. Where there was light, the eye denied sees nothing. Watch. My eye is denied. No light. No candle. Only nothing. Come. That is what the eye sees. What the soul sees cannot be denied. Will not the soul too see nothing when death blinks its eye? No. The soul sees always. Yet the body dies. Does the sun die? It does not shine at night. It shines somewhere. You do not see it. The word mind dies with the body's physical show. The soul is not of words, not of desire, not of the mask of persona, so it continues on. The soul is not motivated by the words or false beliefs, so it is free. The soul is and clinging to suffering. All life is sacred. Thus, the joining together of man and woman is always honored. Apart, there is no life. But from such union, life may proceed. Then life must be always defended. The thorn defends the rose. It harms only those who would steal the blossom from the plant. Injury wrought by oneself? No, grasshopper. Then by another? No. Then by oneself and another? Did your eye meet your own fist? Then shall I seek ways to repay? What is the debt? My suffering. Vengeance is a water vessel with a hole. It carries nothing but the promise of emptiness. Shall I then repay injury always with kindness? Repay injury with justice and forgiveness, but kindness always with kindness. Fear is the enemy. Trust is the armor. But knowing not what will happen, am I not wise to be afraid? He who conquers himself is the greatest warrior. Do what must be done with a docile heart. Master, how can I know if this is possible for me? Listen for the color of the sky. Look for the sound of the hummingbird's wing. Search the air for the perfume of ice on a hot day. If you have found these things, you will know. Brad Harper, what troubles you? I am ashamed. Feel shame for no cause is a waste. 
To feel shame for cause is also a waste, for you must rather spend time correcting that of which you are ashamed. Master, I woke last night and seeing nothing, hearing nothing, yet I was afraid. Of what? Death. He who knows how to live need not fear death. He can walk without fear of rhino or tiger. He will not be wounded in battle. How can this be? In him, the rhino can find no place to thrust his horn. Tiger, no place to use his claws. And weapons, no place to pierce. Why is this so? Because a man who knows how to live has no place for death to enter. required to trust even if we are often reminded of the existence of evil deal with evil through strength but affirm the good in man through trust in this way we are prepared for evil but we encourage good and is good our great reward for trusting in striving for an ideal we do not seek rewards yet trust does sometimes Bring with it a great reward, even greater than good. What is greater than good? Love. such creature. Might not this one appear beautiful? So beauty differs from being to being. Beauty is constant, as is the truth. Seek and find what is the truth. What is the truth of man, Master? It has been said that a man is three things. What he thinks he is, what others think he is, and what he really is. Which of these do you believe is the truth? What he really is. But if a man is wrong about himself, and others are wrong about him, who is left to say what he really is? At what point in time can a man be fixed and frozen if he is to live and grow? He must change. As the lowly caterpillar transforms itself into a finer and more beautiful creature. see the scar of anger on your face? I do not like to be a servant. Oh. You consider it beneath you to serve another. How am I to answer? I do not know what it is to be served. Do not the ancients say rank and reward have no appeal for a man one with himself? 
yet you, Master, are served, and therefore greater. Smaller. I have taken, without true respect, what you have given. We must both learn. Please, sit here. It does not seem right. It is my joy, Master. to wash them for you. They were very dirty from my work in the garden. Yes, but no more. I am very grateful. And I to you for allowing me to be of service. being served, one also serves. Are these not the foes of the same garment? I do not understand. I am pleased you have done my wash, and ashamed I have not done it for myself. Again, you have taught me. How? A man truly himself will not enrich his own interests and make a virtue of poverty. He goes his way without depending on others. Praying mantis, speed and patience. The snake, suppleness and rhythm endurance. The crane, grace and self-control. The tiger, tenacity and power. The dragon, to ride the wind. Master, each time I look at them, knowing them better, they appear even more beautiful. Excellent, Grasshopper. Now, look down. Do you see the ornamented sash? Yes, Master. Good. Now then, draw the sash toward yourself. I feel as though my ears have been injured. I have destroyed something beautiful, Master. The vases were only imitations, made of inferior materials. Trouble yourself not about them, but about this. It seems a handsome tool to be used like others, but it is an instrument which can fulfill its purpose only through destruction. As the sound injures the ear, so its discharge consumes the flesh. That which shrinks must first expand. That which fails must first be strong. That which is cast down must first be raised. Before receiving, there must first be giving.
Cheers. Master, it is all too beautiful. I weep at my good fortune. Tell me why. I stood outside these gates once with many other boys, hoping to enter this place of peace. Only I was chosen. What if it had not been so? But it was? Yes, but it might not have been. Where would I have been then? Who can say? And what of the others? Where are they now? That, too, is unknowable for us. And what of those who may never come here? Who will never know this peace? Do you pity them? Oh, yes. Please, come with me. The wind which carries the seed plays no favorites. The seeds fall where they will, according to the fortunes of wind and weather. Those that fall in fertile soil may be tended and cared for, grow strong and bloom. Those that fall in barren soil will die, yet some will cling to life in arid places, on hillsides, in deep clefts, and so the traveler, unsuspecting, comes upon a sight of beauty. A single lily growing amid the rocks. The thoughtful traveler will water this lily in passing, grateful for its strength, its beauty, its tenacity to life. And growing in the rocks as it is, is it not in its essence? Still a lily, and every bit as beautiful as these. feed and clothe him. And you disapprove? It is said he swore an oath as one of us never to reveal our secrets. It is said that when he left us, he taught farmers to be soldiers and led them to their deaths in foolish rebellion. I am aware of his unsavory adventures. I am aware also of his hunger and cold. But master... Will not food and new clothing strengthen him to go out and cause more suffering? It may. But when he leaves us in the morning, will the earth fall away from under his feet? Will the sun, shining on all else, withhold light and warmth from him? Will water turn to mud when he stops to drink? If sun and earth and water Refrain from judgment. Who am I to withhold a blanket and a bowl of rice? <clears throat> Your heart beats too fast. You must quiet it. What frightened you? I heard the silence, Master. I felt my whole being diffuse. 
like a cloud. Then rain fell from the sky through me. I was part of everything, yet I was myself. You have experienced oneness. Yes, Master. But in this great joy, I felt as if I was dying. That is what frightened me. Okay, uh, quite a, a sobering video and, um, you know, trust Desi, she, she chose something that's completely appropriate for us for now, for this time, this time of intense chaos, confusion, um, deception, fear, etc, etc, and, and human transformation at the end of the day. And, um, you know, um, raising our awareness out of ignorance and, you um, surrendering to the past negative patterns that are not serving us anymore, um, effectively harmful for us. And then out of the chaos, allowing order and patterning to happen, repatterning um, into, you know, the new paradigm shift. So, um, you know, there's, there's key elements that are going to um, assist us in the transformation. And, and two of them are truth and authenticity. Because right now the walls are crumbling everywhere um, where these values are not being upheld. And, and that's really the bottom line. So you can, you can remain a slave or you can um, un, unenslave yourself and, or untrap yourself and live more, more of a truthful and authentic life. And that's a life of wholeness. And arising out of that, we get the robustness that we're looking for, the resilience that we're looking for. And, you know, we're able to, to move more into the love realm and, and the fearless realm, which is um, courage-based. So the, the opposite of, of fear is courage, basically. Um, and, and coming out of that is, is the love space. So um, also one of the main themes of Daisies is compassion. And if we can be compassionate on, on every level and, um, you know, have patience and understanding, I think that, um, you know, that will really, really assist us in harmonizing ourselves with the planet, the soil, nature, animals, um, the sun, the cosmos. Um, and the video mentioned something about, um, you know, if we're showing compassion, we're in harmony with the duality of our nature. So it's a very, very, very key element. And uh, I just found this this video is very appropriate. I'm, I think the sound was lagging a little bit. But anyway, you can up, did place the, the link in the chat. So you can, you can listen to it. And... Um, that that was yeah that was mainly what I wrote um, and also to have a look at um, our journey there's beginning and ends beginning and ends beginning and ends and beginning and ends and that is the way we kind of initiate ourselves and rise to high and high vibrations high and high consciousness and um, we most of us are well versed in quantum by now and the vortexes and the spins and the interconnectedness and interrelatedness, interdependency. And so um, those of us who are, who are awake or semi-awake or awakening really need to um, you know, be the pioneers insofar as humanity is concerned right now because I, I don't really have a, an exact figure, but I don't believe there's more, re more than really 10% of the population or humanity who are awake and there's many many who are um sleeping blindfolded never mind never mind masked actually blindfolded and this is scary because these are the people who um will follow blindly and go for the vaccinations and and do whatever they're told and, and as i said <laughs> i wrote somewhere to someone something earlier today that these are the people that will go for the vaccinations and they will die wearing their masks 
because they are so attached to this mask thing and it, and they have been so programmed that um, us, us as, as I say, as pioneers, as people who are awakening, um, we've got quite, a, quite a, a big job to do regarding education. And be that as it may, it does begin with us, and the video showed us that as well. So we need to take the oxygen mask and put it on ourselves first. And coming out of the video as well is the stillness that we need so that we can actually really um, download the universal wisdom and, and work with that. That is the truth and authenticity that we're looking for. Um, it's not going to come out of, out of a human's mouth. And um, what you need to hear might be different from me and somebody else as well. And that's fine because our purposes might be different. But as we move together and more in a collective way, we will be able to look at collective transformation. And, um, you know, that's what we need to do. And we need to really, really hope for the best here um, regarding, you know, everything. And um, I said to people in this week as well, I've done some other, other Zoom calls on... Um, sustainability and so on. The question you can ask yourself is, am I revolving around the three-dimensional realm? Am I devolving downwards, degenerating in other words, or am I actually evolving upwards and outwards? So that's the thing, that's the thing. You want to be entrapped, revolving around the three-dimensional realm. That's, that's your choice. And to make sure that you are there, read every single YouTube, um, Telegram, <laughs> you name it. Read all of those and keep, keep stuck in there. Or step back completely and have those days, those moments, those hours where you are absolutely free, where you can be the authentic you and, and hear the, the messages for you. So that's really, and I'm very, very um, adamant about this. I'm, I'm fearless about it. And I believe that that's what we need to do as pioneers. We've got lots of work to do. And I just want to also compliment the quantum therapists and everybody else who joins in. The work we're doing in raising um, humanity's immunity to COVID is incredible. And um, I've just found that week after week, week after week, um, we're maintaining those levels at a much higher level than we, we left off each week. So we're gathering momentum. And some of the things I'm starting to see now are things like um, extrasensory perception for humanity from an emotional space. So we're starting to see glimpse of hope coming through. And um, yeah, so don't for one moment think, um, you know, what we're doing is just like a drop in the ocean. It's, I think it's quite big. And um, along with the rest of the world, of course, of course. So um, yeah, don't despair. We're doing it twice a week at the moment to keep those levels up. And I think right now until December 21st and probably on into January, I think it's going to be necessary for us to keep at it because we, we don't know. We don't know ultimately. But what we do know is that we have a choice, okay? And we can choose. And we have hands so we can manifest. We can manifest the potential energy into kinetic energy, spiritualization of matter. So what I want to do now uh, is share with you my 10-minute presentation that I gave last weekend at the International Convention of Higher Consciousness, which was based in the Philippines uh, with Master Del Pei. And um, leading on from this, there are going to be a series of sustainability courses where we're looking at our health, our home, our food, and our businesses. And I'm going to be posing questions, um, showing various clips, educating, talking out of books, and research um, so that by the end of, let's say, the four-week course, we are able to plot out our destiny in, 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 in a more accurate way, more meaningful way, because we've been there, we've experienced. So there's going to be more on that going forward. But I really feel right now that we need to be looking at um, our own sustainability and start thinking about, um, you know, what if, and um, it's going to be different for each person. Okay, so let me let me uh, get hold of this. Let me load. This, um, 
my little it's only 10 minutes Okay, and I'm going to start playing it now. Greetings and a very warm welcome to the third international convention of higher consciousness. This is track three, the global economy. I'm Jane McKenzie, CEO, founder and owner of 365 Healthy by Choice, a natural pharmacist and quantum therapist. The topic today is global deconstruction and the reconstruction of localized communities. Our health, our homes, our food and our businesses. We are at the golden dawning of a paradigm shift for the earth and humanity, a turning point. Never before have we seen such mass destruction. If we take health, for example, the hospitals are overflowing and there's been an over prescribing of prescription medicines, seldom helping seldom shifting people from illness to wellness. If we look at the home front and we see pe people living in um, densely populated high-rise buildings, afraid to open the windows because of pollution and having Wi-Fi beaming in on them 24-7. If we look at the food production area with overuse of chemicals and pesticides and the declining nutritional value of our food as evidenced in the disease state of humanity. If we look at the global destruction and the impact it's had on businesses, we need to wake up. We need to listen carefully and look around and see what's going on. And we will find a massive amount of chaos. Now, if we look at this from a quantum point of view in an interdependent interconnectedness space, we need chaos to shift us into a new paradigm. The more chaos, the greater the shift, which we are experiencing right now. With the quantum, we're also looking at an integrated interdependent space, a space of holism. Let me share um, uh, the, what this quantum scalar wave uh, vortex looks like with the golden mean spiraling down, another golden mean spiraling up and a, a circular wave on the outside. So when we're talking about raising our vibration, um, increasing electron spin, um, raising high, high to ourselves to higher consciousness, we're talking about this vortex, we're talking about the spin. And you can see there's a space for a perpetual harmonic renewal because that spin doesn't really stop. It might slow down and degenerate, but it, if it stops, then it's the end. <laughs> so we need to work towards a constant perpetual harmonic renewal going forward. And I have another, another slide to show you, which depicts transformation to higher consciousness, beginning in the very beginning of the golden mean. And as the golden mean unfolds, as our DNA unfolds and our higher purpose unfolds, we move from a situation of um, we, I to we, to eventually collective consciousness and collective transformation. This is what we're aiming to do because we can co-create our future right now. We can visualize what we, what we would like it to be. So we, as long as we're working in an integrative, interdependent space and serving humanity, are we going to be part of the new paradigm shift? And I want to share with you uh, a localized community operation that um, operates locally but reaches globally and um, share with you a really working exa example. At 365 Healthy by Choice, we believe there's various gateways to higher consciousness and achieving this. And it could be spiritual, it could be through education, it could be through an illness, it could be through environment, it could be through farming, and whatever it might be, there are various gateways. So as long as we're getting natural, authentic alignment, and in truth. And at 365 Healthy by Choice, we believe and we know that 365 days of the year, we can choose health and sustainability, where prevention is better than waiting for when it's too late. We want to think clearly and live productively in all areas of our lives. So let's have a quick look and see what a kind of a glocalized center could look like within, within a community. And I'm going to be looking at health, the home, the food, and the business all together interrelated in a quantum space. 
So, so, so watch here. We see we have a, a center, very organic. Um, you can see the open spaces, interconnection between outside and inside, lots of air, lots of light. You can see dome-shaped rooms for scalar waves. We've got um, GMO-free chickens for transferred immunity. We have biodynamic vegetables. We have herb gardens. We have fruit trees, nut trees, and we keep the seeds. And the whole time we're working on maximizing our consciousness, maximizing our health, our body, our mind, our emotions, and our spirit. And in doing this, we can raise our consciousness from the center. And within the center, we have um, saunas and ozones and places to detox. So whilst we're nourishing, we're detoxifying at the same time. You can see quantum practitioners. You can, you can do processing. And the whole thing happening in perpetual harmonic renewal and people coming in and renewing and going out and sharing and sharing and sharing. So the ripples really, really do go. So that, that's by way of an introduction and integration. So we're also looking at from a globalized point of view with the quantum devices reaching every corner of the earth because we can do that. We're working with the subconscious and we're giving the subconscious a voice. So we have practitioners that work 24, that connect, connect anybody up 24 seven global immediate anywhere in the world and give a non-biased um, and validated report on the root causes of disease, the risk factors and actually the alignment as well. So very nice and very important, that aspect. So we electroceutically, we can nourish and we can detox the body. We also use food state nutrients to do this. We use things like almost gold and cell oxygen and nutrient dense foods, superfoods. We, for example, spirulina, bee pollen, royal jelly, um, cordyceps, medicinal mushrooms, and we grow the organic fruit trees and seeds and nuts and sprouts all to achieve maximum health. And to allow the body to detoxify at the same at the same time, because this is the issue. We need to be able to detoxify ourselves. So yeah, we're looking at natural products, nature-made products, not waiting for shipments, and more looking towards a less dependency on manufacturing. And then we also have a, a place now where we start looking at something quite more, a little bit more serious, and that would be our um, focus on 3G and radiation very dangerous to the body and what happens is the dna breaks off and then the cells start replicating with the wrong dna so we need to build up a defense shield around our bodies to ward off the radiation how do we do that we simply use earthing mats we use wristing wrist pads we use pendants to ward off emf that we wear 24 7 so we protected and we would use various products to do this as well. And we have little devices as well that work on the soil, the plants, animals, ourselves, and even reconstruct the water. So with the constantly now keeping our vibration high by nourishing and detoxifying, nourishing and detoxifying, raising the immunity and looking after the DNA. So, so, so moving forward also with opportunities in, in the, in the center, for example, you now want to look at, um, producing your food. And this, this, this slide will, will show us, um, what we give the soil, what we give the plants, what we give the animals, what we take ourselves is very, very similar. Why wouldn't it be? So everything is integrated, interdependence, and this is how we raise our consciousness. And also the, seeds we keep and each generation they get more intelligent and they raise our intelligence as the earth intelligence is raised in a very much an independent way so then we also have a look at other very important things such as education we have the global classroom and we can because of technology have certified courses degrees diplomas that people can register for and and share and teach with other people then we also will have in a community, various memberships, because in a community, togetherness, oneness will create the, the love, the peace, the joy that we are looking for at the same time where we're working together co-creatively. So here we have community members, affiliate members to train, and we also have practitioner members that will become part of the global practitioner group. And then finally, we have a look also at as business opportunities, business in a box and franchises where from a sustainability point of view and a health point of view, people can um, obtain starter packs, if you like, and devices and products and get trained and start in a business immediately. And um, that works for the plants and the seeds as well, and even digital currencies in included. So this is how we've looked on, looked at this in a, in a kind of a microcosm whereby we can operate um, locally and uh, sustainably 
and where we can grow a community that thinks clearly and lives productively. So you can see we can now reframe the paradigm shift and the chaos and the quantum space to see the positive out of it and to get the reordering happen and, and, and the, the co-creation of our future move up the paradigm shift. So um, we can also relook at um, deconstruction to reconstruct, uh, the revolution for the evolution. And I look very forward to sharing a lot more with you, and I urge you to please contact me so that we can do this. You can contact me on www.365healthybychoice.com. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank Master Del Pei and his team for this absolutely beautiful convention. Thank you very much. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. And it gives you um, an idea as to the space where I'm heading um, to educate as many people as possible on health, home, food, and businesses, and get ourselves ready for, for the new world, if you like. And um, Yes, I'm going to be running, as I say, a series of events. So this Wednesday coming, I'm going to do an introduction. And um, I really did speak on the 365 Live last Thursday. I think some of you might have seen the um, recording already. So we really, really need, need to do take, to, really need to take the reins right now and start steering ourselves in the direction we need to be in. Because if we don't follow prevention and and wait for it for when it's too late, what we're going to do, we'll just be standing up and saying, well, we should have. We didn't. We could have. And I don't really think that's that's the way forward. <clears throat> and, you know, to become un unstuck and out of the paradigm about who did what, we know the terrible things that have been done. And quite frankly, right here and now, to actually verify who's responsible for what is almost um, not possible. And so therefore we need to, as I said earlier, um, un unenslave ourselves and find the freedom in, in our own truth and authenticity and, and, and create the new world we want because we can, we have the choice right now. And that's really the message. And I'm, I'm really impressed in this point because humanity has to wake up. We're all sitting there thinking it's going to be okay. And, well, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to um, evolve ourselves out of it. That's really my message. Um, so we are, we're on the weekend now, and it's a good, good time to do that. And those people that are going to be joining us with the, um, or hopefully all of you, um, with the raising humanity's immunity to COVID, understand it's in the bigger picture that we're speaking about here. We are speaking about the bigger picture. And I did post on the chat. Um, the, 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 well, the evidence right now is out, as I said to you. Um, and I posted the link now. It's a, it's, a, it's a link. There's a book, 25 chapters. And um, it's just music to my ears because it's what I've been speaking about all along. And boy, oh boy, have we been hoodwinked more than we ever, ever, ever have known. So it needs to stop and, and we need to stop as well. And we are definitely not going to be lining up. That's guaranteed for sure. And nor are our children. So with that, if, are there any questions? Um, or have I shocked you too much? Um, I'm hoping that I will, I will I'll post all the information on the sustain, health and sustainability courses. And then remember, on the 21st of December, we're doing the, um, the shadow event. Desi, uh, Rita, myself, so far, we're going to be doing that shadow event. So everything is we're now gearing up towards the 21st of December because that's the equinox and it's really going to be a massive cleansing. And um, you'll find a lot of you will want to detox. A lot of you will want to fast. Um, yeah, and it's just just over probably five weeks away, literally. So quite an auspicious time right now. I, I often I'm feeling myself almost um, suspended 
put it that way. And the only thing I can really um, liken it to is when you're doing scuba diving and you are in complete equilibrium in the water. You're not going up or down where you've got your oxygen and your weight completely balanced. And that's, that is how I'm feeling, I feel right now. And um, let's, let, let's see what Wendy's saying to me. Um, mm, thank you, Wendy. That's a really beautiful passage as well. So all of us like-minded, all of us aware, um, all of us pointing our, our ships or our carriages or whatever in the same direction. Let's let's hit it hard. Let's do it because we have a choice and it's the, the time is, is now. And, you know, let go of completely, surrender to those negative patterns, um, what doesn't serve us anymore, and, you know, move into the new. And and I'm sure the therapists in the group as well are, are noticing that so much with their clients. We really need to help them discard and let go of the past and the trivialities that we become so entrapped in. Um, and, and just help every single one of them wake up and become into the new paradigm. So, so thanks for that, Wendy. I'm most appreciative. And, um, yeah, I think let's, let's, let's work on that work now. Um, my, my device is all ready and waiting. And I must tell you, last week, um, it wasn't even an hour and I was on a hundred across the board with all the, the VARHOPE, um, electromagnetic readings. So for those who don't have the devices with with them, um, you know, it's the voltage, it's the amperage, it's the wattage, it's the resistance to flow that we're talking about, usage of oxygen, usage of water, the pH levels of the body, the cell vitality of the body. For me, they were all on uh, all all satisfied within an hour. So I um I ran a various uh, like chronic fatigue and other various programs that came up, dehypnosis immunity and um, going into the past for 90 seconds and coming back, going into God consciousness for 90 seconds and coming back, going into dimensionally for 90 seconds and coming back. Those are the kind of things I, I started running, which was so quick. So I hope you also found, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and Drew's just thanking everyone. Yeah, so it's great to be here and it's great to be all part of this unbelievable time um, in humanity's evolution. Good. Anything else anybody wants to share before we, before we close? Um, you've all got the video clip recording. And um, I, I'm definitely going to listen to that another at least once or twice. And probably while I'm, I'm working with humanity. Okay, and remember when we're working with humanity, we have the power of billions of prayers all at one time. And when you do your, um, <laughs> now it's, uh, it's just slipping my mind. When we do the, um, the power of the prayer, when we're doing the, um, uh, what's it? Um, setting the organ field. You know, those prayers that you write in there, those are incredibly, incredibly powerful. So let's use the information what we've gleaned this evening and, and write it into those prayers and send it out. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And I just want to say something else as well, is that we're coming to, to December, and I haven't discussed it through with Desi, but she she gave us the Saturdays from, from April till December. So we've got a couple left. Let's treasure them. And um, anybody who's still interested right now to, to join up for the immune courses, please do that. Um, and get your license and get, you know, to, to, um, to practice legally and medically. And, um, yeah, let's take it from there. Okay. Good. See you. See you soon. See you in the week. All right. Bye, everyone.